Hello everybody, my name's Ardendris, and welcome back to Witches X Warlocks. We're on... I suppose we could call it... A day 8. Or... The day of our Halloween exams! Yay! Cuz... It is indeed... Halloween! So, I hope you've had a happy... Spooky Halloween! Today... Figured we'd start off on this page, because the load point is the first line of the start of our exams. So, we're going to be getting into that in just a second. But before we do, I actually have a funny little story. So, earlier, I was on my computer. I was playing a game. I ended up having to walk away to eat dinner and whatnot. Just do some things. Make dinner, cook, cook, eat, whatever. And then I walked back into my room a little bit later. Wasn't coming back to do anything on my computer just yet. I still had other stuff to do. But I come back, and the game I was playing was closed, and this game was open. And it was all because of my sister's cat. <laughs> my sister's cat apparently came in, was like pushing around my keyboard and knocking around with my mouse, somehow managed to close the game I was playing before. Not really sure how she did that. Okay, so I was playing Minecraft and I had it on the main screen, main menu, and the exit game's at the very bottom. She somehow managed to move the mouse down to the bottom of the page Click exactly on exit game, somehow move the cursor around on my desktop to get to the shortcut for this game, click that and open it up, and then proceed to throw my mouse off the desk. No idea how she did it. That cat, it, it, she's special. That, that cat is special. I just, I have no words for it. I, I, I just felt like sharing. That felt like, <laughs> but, yeah. It was pretty funny for me. Pretty funny for everyone in my household. Thought someone might get a laugh out of it too. So I figured I'd share. <laughs> but, anyways, we have a story to get to. So. Load game. Let's just take a quick look. October 24th. At, at, in the morning. After midnight. Our opening bit. This was day two and one and two. Day three. Day four. Day five. Day six. Day seven. And this is where we load up from. For our final day. For our day of exams. Don't click that part. That's the X. That's how you delete it. You, you, you click here. So, let's get into it. Whoa. That was a little strange. Finally, the hour of truth is here. Oh yeah, I should probably go over what happened last time. Huh. That seems kind of important. Last time, we got... was the last day... We spent it learning the last two Damien spells and making some extra potions and buying extra potions that we're probably going to be needing here for our exam. I think we have two reds, two yellows, and three pinks, if I remember correctly. We didn't end up getting any blue ones. We don't know many zero spells anyways. But anyways. And last time we picked up a couple more events for Damien. So... We probably should have their ending as an option too, I think? This game has multiple options for endings. We're probably going to have Damien's, Lawrence's, and Carmilla's as options. This probably isn't even going to be the last episode. We're probably going to choose one ending here and then do subsequent ending videos for the rest of them. Anyways. Finally, the Hour of Truth is here. 
I look around the town square, which is filled to the brim with my monstrous classmates and upperclassmen. There are a few familiar faces lingering at the edge, cramming last minute. A few others are nervously asking their crushes to the festivities after the exams. Always a good sight to see. But at the very center of the square is Miss Magwitch, stern-faced and serious as ever, waiting for the witching hour to finally arrive. Once it does, she'll teleport us to the dungeons where we will face our trials. Close by is Mr. West, who is trying to sell potions to anybody that doesn't look prepared enough. All right. All right. I've got a few minutes bef left before the exam begins. Maybe I can do something that will help me pass. Sweet talk, Miss Magwitch. Le leech some potions from Mr. West, or help a classmate find love. Helping a classmate find love sounds very fey. But I did actually spoil this bit for myself. If we want any potions to start our exam with, we need to choose this top op option. Sweet talk, Miss Magwitch. I believe it was this one. It might have been... Yeah, it was this one. I ended up looking at a guide just to see exactly how unlocking endings worked. And roughly what to expect. I wanted a little bit of forewarning. I tried to avoid any spoilers or anything like that for story-wise. Like, I have no idea what's actually coming up. I just know this option, basically. And probably the option that comes after it where we'll get to choose one of our endings. So, sweet talk, Miss Magwitch. I use Enthrall and try sweet-talking Miss Magwitch into making the exams a bit easier. As one of her worst students, though, the spell didn't do anything at all. With a heavy sigh, she at least commends my efforts and hands me a few extra potions. It's time. Finally, Miss Magwitch's voice rings out and everyone goes quiet. Remember, your, prim your primary goal would be finding the exit. If you run out of potions, I will teleport you back here and it will count as a failure. Now line up! Alright! Alright, let's get started. I just kind of picked a voice and went with it. And afterwards... Lawrence isn't here? Hmm. I thought Lawrence's ending might be here too. Guess not. So, I will hang out with Damien, I will hang out with Carmilla, Lonely Souls of Halloween Town, here I come. We have Damien ending, Carmilla ending, and our, like, lone route. Hmm, what to start with? I was expecting to come to this and have four choices and still not know what I was doing, actually. So... <laughs> Carmilla, Damien, or Lonely Souls? Hmm. Of course, the two endings here are my two of... Are my favorite two out of the four love interests. Um... I suppose we'll start with Carmilla? Or do I do what I did with Pit Stop and Purgatory, where I went for the solo route first? Hmm. Maybe we could do the solo route first, see what happens when we're by ourselves. Um... And... I could drop in an extra save here, but our last save is, like, only a couple minutes ago. I can just get back here, no problem. Lonely souls of Halloween Town, here I come! Solo route. Ugh. You good, game? What was that? Uh, yeah? Uh, why is it so dark here? Glow, one blue potion, do nothing. Or, glow, one blue potion, moonlight, one yellow potion, or do nothing. 
Does this really just not give me anywhere how many potions I have? Do I like, have to remember it? That's a little rude game. Really, we do have more yellow potions than blue potions. We don't have many spells that require blue potions. So, glow. Yes. Shining my way through the sh the nightshade way. Let's go. Huh? All right. Here we go. Now we have a list of how many potions we have. It gave us Miss Magwitch gave us an extra five in each category, which is. Good to know. Finally, here's some light. Hmm. Let's see, that door looks tightly shut, and the lever next to it looks broken. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. The lever is broken. If I pull this, I will get hurt. Darn these sharp edges. Lick for two yellow potions and one pink potion? Stitch for one red potion, or do something else. We might be doing stitch here. Let's see what we can do with a door. Hmm. Nope, no way I can push this door. And substantiate one blue potion. We could just do this. Glow and insubstantiate are our only two blue potions. Are our only two spells that require blue potions, I think. Or... One second. Hmm. Wait, no. We have... Yeah, we can just do that, because that will leave us three hmm. blue potions. And each of the other colored potions has one spell that makes it... That required would require one blue potion. I don't remember exactly which ones it is, though. Is it Enthrall... We know Enthrall is one of the one potion ones. I don't remember which one it is. It might be Crawl, um, Feral, and Gentle Giant, I think, maybe? That all require one blue potion along with two of whatever color potion. So doing Insubstantiate here, I think we'll be okay still. Even if we do end up having to use all three of the one blue potion spells from other colors. Insubstantiate! Insubstantiate! Probably could have guessed that she was just gonna yell in a second. <laughs> Here we go! Easy as a piece of pumpkin pie! Wow! Whoa, this room is much bigger. Hmm. Let's see, there seems to be a deep pit over there. I'm not sure if I can jump over. And over there is a door, but these big rocks blocked the way. What's wow! The, wow, this is such a dried up skeleton. Philosophize for one red potion, or do something else. Hmm. The pit is, this pit is really deep. If I fall, I'll be I'll for sure end up as minced meat. Fly or crawl? You could do either. It's fly that not crawl that requires the blue potion. Okay. Um. Wow. Let's talk to the skeleton, I suppose first. Philosophize. Hmm. It seems like this buddy has been in here for a while. Maybe I can tell me how to move on. Philosophize. A bowl of candy, a bag of treats, a dish of tasty sugary sweets. Huh? It seems like this skeleton has a bowl of candy bombs? Oh! Neat! I could blast the rocks away if I got my hands on some of it. My eyes sparkle with delight as I raise my hand and knock against a cage. <laughs> knock knock! Trick or treat! For a moment, silence reigns. Just as I fear that this bonehead too is ignoring me, it finally moves and pushes the bowl towards the edge of the cage. We are not home for you to scare. Here's a bowl of treats. Take one if you dare. All right. Success. I pump my fist in vigor and victory as I grab a handful of candy bombs. Mm -hmm. I'll place the bombs here and get the fire from the torch there. Done. 
Closing my eyes and covering my ears, I run to the opposite corner of the room and wait. Kaboom! The explosion is barely powerful enough to rattle the floor, but when I open my eyes, the rocks are gone. Alright! Alright, next one. I should be halfway through. Okay, so we ended up using one red potion instead of two pink and whatever, one of whatever other color. Hee! <laughs> A zombie! What did he eat to grow so big? We're doing pretty good on potions. We've only ended up using one potion options so far. And why is he glaring at me as if I owe him money? Don't tell me he's also on an obstacle to I have to pass. Hmm. Hmm. Engineered perfection, feral, intimidation, or life leech. Hmm. How many potions do we have left? Of what type? Hmm. I'm tempted to drop in a save right here, but that would be cheating. Hmm. We can basically do whatever we want here. Um. Let's do Intimidation. It is one of the blue potions. <laughs> intimidation. Might as well use them. We don't know when we're going to need two yellows, ye two yellow potions for a spell, so using the ones we're not going to be using otherwise, instead of one we might be using. Intimidation. Before the zombie can advance on me, I cast the spell and glare at him. Mm. Uh, um, let's talk this out. He shrinks his neck and looks at me timidly, the frown from before cleanly wiping- wiped from his face. Success. What? Sure, I may need a hand to pass this exam anyway, but you better behave, buddy. Of course. Hmm. Oh. oh, such a cute frog. What is it doing here? Gentle giant or do something else? We'll keep Gentle Giant in mind. That is a really cute frog. I had no idea what that was. I thought that was like a jar full of candy or something. Uh, but I guess I can see the frog. Those are like the back legs there and the front legs and the head. Hmm. Now let's see. This seems like a dead end, but I have the feeling there should be a door here. Ask the zombie or insubstantiate. Ask the zombie. Buddy, tell me how did we get past this room? There are magic runes on the wall. Once you activate them in the right order, the passage will appear. Hmm. The right order? How many runes are there? Sixty. Huh? Sixty? I remember the order and can help you. Well... Well, say that sooner. You almost scared the stuffings out of me. I clutch dramatically at my chest for emphasis. So sorry. Hmm. It's fine. Go ahead, then. All right. Without further ado, he taps against the wall. One by one, runes start to appear, glowing brightly. A few minutes later, he finally stops. Whoa. Usually I would have been voiced. Whoa. I'm done. Alright! The wall disappeared. <laughs> nice! And give the zombie a brilliant smile and a thumbs up. Now, let's move on. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Huh? Is that the Reaper? How on earth did Miss Magwitch get him here? Hmm. Behind him seems to be the exit, though. Ask the zombie to distract the reaper. Camouflage. Two yellow potions, one blue potion. We still have the zombie, might as well keep trying to get him to help. Right. Buddy, can you distract him while I sneak out? Me? 
Come on! Who else is here? Come on, only you are fit for the task. I try to look as intimidating as Damien did. And it works. Leave him to me. Leave it to me. Sweet. With that, the zombie dashes out from her hiding place and confronts the Reaper. Taking advantage of the situation, I slip past them without any problems. Camouflage! Huh? Still ended up using the spell? Interesting. I quietly call out the spell, blending in with my surroundings. Slowly, trying my best not to make any noise, I slip past the Reaper without any problems. Exams passed! That was quite a bit shorter than I was expecting. <laughs> but happy dance, happy dance. We passed our exams! That was a fun little bit. A lot shorter than I was expecting. I'm pleased to announce that, once again, love is triumphant! The incomparable, <laughs> the one and only! All thanks to weeks of dedicated hard work from yours truly, the brilliant one and only Fane Nightshade. Without further ado, I prepare myself for this year's Halloween festivities. Wait, weeks of preparation? Did you plan the festivities too over the last few weeks? Otherwise you did nothing for the past few weeks besides... Or, you, you studied for the past week only. The best matchmaker in Dwemermere High! <laughs> now that exams are over, it's time for Dwemermere High's best matchmaker to return! Lonely souls of Halloween Town, here I come! The end. You have unlocked the generic ending, the best, ma the best matchmaker in Dwemermere High. Oh. And here we have... <laughs> that was just a... Done. Okay. Let's take a quick look at our uh credits then. Forgot the word for a second. We have Demetus, directing, coding, and design. Simon F, template and coding. S Merrick, editing, ideas bouncing. Julia Gu, voice for Ve or the voice for Faye, female. Adriel Varlak, the voice for Lawrence. Elrion. The sprite and CG art artwork. Alfdale, writing, prologue zero. Cypher, editing. Why did I go? Whatever. Daniel Acosta, for Faye's male voice. I feel like I recognize that name from something else. I don't know. Lizzie Freeman as the voice of Carmilla. Ada Rosa as background artwork. Rai as the writer for Damien and Lawrence. Antiqued Fei, ideas bouncing. Yu Wang, for Fei's non binary voice. Kaden Jensen as the voice of Damien. Atheris as user interface. Agent Stout as writing for Carmilla. Jacob Wilson for voice di cast directing. And Ryan Hole at Hoyle as the voice for Zero. A game developed by Nifty Visuals and published by Nifty Product Productions. We actually get to read the credits on this one. And that's it. Okay, we're heading back in. <laughs> that was... Okay, I guess we're just going to do all three of our available endings right now. Uh, not gonna read up to this point. All right. Hmm. I wish we didn't have to do this again. I wish we could see these other options. I guess we can just like read through them, but I don't think we'll end up with enough potions to pass the test if we do either of these two options. Cause what? We have. Uh. Eight? Seven. We have seven potions right now. We ended up using... One, two... Three... Four, five, six... Seven... Eight. I don't know, we used more than seven. And it was of specific colors. 
Though as much as I'd like to see these other two options... Sweet Talk Miss Magwitch. I use Enthrall and try Sweet Talking. And we come to this option again. This is kind of like pushing through all that. Who do we start with then? Damien or Carmilla? I suppose let's start with Carmilla then. Afterwards, I'll go search for Carmilla. And after all, after all, there's something I've been wondering about. Uh, why is it so dark here? Again. Yes. All hmm. right. Hmm. Okay. This is this part exactly the same as before. Hmm. We're just going to be. I'm just sort of following the same path we did before? Hmm. Those past rooms... Let's try something else this time. We did end up with extra potions last time. Let's use fly this time instead. As soon as the spell is cast, I float over the pit with ease. All right. All right. Next one. I should be halfway through. Uh. Uh, a zombie? Really? Okay. Even choosing a different path there, we end up in the same place here. Hmm. We could try a different option on this one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. The test, the exam seems like it's going to be identical. Intimidation. Despite whichever ending you choose, the ending probably just changes the uh just changes the bit after the. Uh, the exam finishes up. Right. So mm. we're just gonna quickly huh? just pass through this one. Well. Just finish up the, just clicking through mm. the rest of this. Oh. All right. Well, this appeared nice. I give the zombie a brilliant smile and a thumbs up. Now let's move on. Huh? Got the reaper. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna continue on through until we hit the end with Faye. Uh, with Carmilla's route and we get to see the Carmilla ending. Then I'm just probably gonna skip straight to the end of the exam and just read through the ending for, uh, uh for Damien. Maybe we try camouflage this time instead? Um, sure, why not? Camouflage! I quietly call out the spell, blending in with my surroundings. Slowly, trying my best not to make any mo noise, I slip past the Reaper without any problems. Oh, so just ha so having the zombie there is just flavor text so that you don't end up using potions for it? Or I guess... We cast camouflage, but it didn't cost us the potions. Didn't the zo when we chose the zombie option. So if we had, like, zero potions left when we got to that point, but we had the zombie, we could get past there, no problem. Okay. And yeah, that was exactly the same across both routes. So, for this, for Damien's, we're just gonna skip right to the end. Carmilla! 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 I burst into the human shop with reckless abandon, waving my hands enthusiastically in the air. Da di da da di da. I passed my exams. I did it. Yes. I'm going to be a real witch and not be tragically expelled. I thought she was at the register, but the moment I mentioned passing, all it caps, 
All I catch is a glimpse of Carmilla's cape fluttering as she rushes towards me and takes my hand in hers. Congratulations! <laughs> Congratulations, my dear! I'm impressed. You've impressed me? I honestly had no faith that you would pass the mag which is... The mag which is devilish exams with only a week's worth of studying, and yet... Here you are! Uh, what do you mean you had no faith? Right. I was under the tutelage of the beautiful, the one and only Countess Carmilla. How could I fail with such a brilliant mentor? Carmilla's face flushes and she sinks into the collar of her cape. <laughs> really, she makes it too easy. <laughs> <laughs> then it is most fortunate that I took you under my wing, isn't it? Smiles! Happy smiles all around. <laughs> I give both of her hands a squeeze, and she shyly peers at me in response. If I hadn't seen her in action, I don't think I'd ever believe she was in any sort of hunter in the slightest. Which reminds me, actually. Well... Hey, Carmilla? Um... Do you, uh... Remember our conversation from the other day? Where you outsmarted the hun vampire hunters? Her face falls a little, and she lifts her head to fully face me. I guess that answers that. How? How did you do it? It's been driving me peanuts. Well... Well, I suppose you do deserve a little reward. Anyway... The truth is, I didn't. Now... The little mouse, though she had acted as bait, she was my savior that night. The girl from the picture rescued you, but I thought she was scared of you. Carmilla nods. She was. <laughs> she was, and I'm still not entirely sure why she helped me, in spite of it all. Maybe. Perhaps she was simply following the old game, or perhaps that connection we shared still lingered in her heart. At any rate. Either way, she left me an opening, and as she had always had, time and time again, and I chose to take it. What happened to her after that? She shrugs, but despite her nonchalant attitude, I can tell it bothers her. Her downcast eyes give it away. I have no idea. That was the last time I saw her. Well... And from what I've gathered, she died and was buried somewhere in Slovenia, but that was decades ago. My hands tense up, pressed against hers. Do you want to see her again? Of course! I had intended to apologize properly upon our next meeting, but I never got the chance. I was foolish to. I feel her grip slacken in mine, as though she'll drift off the moment I let go. But I have no intention of letting that happen. Whoa. What's stopping you? You got like three raises and a bonus from Mr. West this week alone, a and you've been working in the human shop long enough that we should be able to afford the trip, right? Pardon? Uh, pardon? We? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not just going to let you take a vacation by yourself, you know. Hmm. And I've always wondered what it would be like to travel across Europe. Oh. oh, and there's a city of love in France, too, isn't there? That settles it. I'm going. Despite my efforts, Carmilla presses her lips together in uncertainty. My dear little witch. <laughs> you are truly quite shameless at times, my dear. Though, I suppose that's just one of your many charms. But... But when I visit the grave... Won't you be bored? Well... Um... <laughs> well... Um... I need to meet my rival eventually, don't I? Huh? Your... Rival? She shoots me a blank stare for a long moment, but then her cheeks light up like the inside of a jack-o'-lantern. Oh my... <laughs> my oh my... That is... 
Uh, um, oh, oh goodness, I did, I did not think that you'd... <laughs> <laughs> Miss Countess, don't tell me you've fallen for me too. I raise one of Carmilla's hands to my lips and gently kiss her knuckles. I think if she turns any redder, she'll explode. Hmm. Sorry, too much? She shakes her head side to side vigorously, but doesn't reply. In response, I can't help but giggle until my own feelings of resignation creep in. Well... Well, don't worry. I know you're still in love with her, so I won't tease you anymore. What? But I think that as long as those mistakes are haunting you, you won't be able to notice anybody else. Um. And maybe I'm a bit selfish, but I... I at least want a fighting chance. Oh. oh, my sweet dear little witch, you have it all wrong. She gently pulls her hand from mine, and my heart sinks. Did I mess up? I thought you liked the aggressive approach. Um. S sorry, I think I misread the... Um, never mind. Well... Uh, sorry... I'll go. But before I can turn away, Carmilla's hand is on my cheek to meet me, and she draws me down into a kiss. My heart does backflips against my chest. When she gently pulls away, I feel my witch's resolve begin to waver, having been suddenly overwhelmed by her soft lips. Is this a yes or is this a no? Um. I'm getting a lot of mixed signals here. Dummy. <laughs> oh, Faye, you dummy. The way I feel about her and the way I feel about you are completely different. Before we continue on, I was kind of expecting an art piece there for a kiss. It was just a black screen. We didn't even get, like, one of the cute little chibi ones. She flicks the tip of my nose. I blink. Now. She may always be important to me, but that doesn't mean there is no room left for you. Not an immortal. Of course. You got an art piece here, though. Okay, I don't mind. <laughs> I plan to cher cherish all the time we have for the precious thing that it is. Whoops. <laughs> Started speaking over the beginning of that one. Not many of these full lines are voiced. And if it. Did it again. Even if I cannot give her the apology she deserved, I may at least honor her memory by correcting the mistakes I've made in the past. And show her I can move forward in my future with you. Once it registers in my head that Carmilla, the Carmilla, <laughs> likes me too, a fierce, a fierce blush rushes against my cheeks and spreads to the very tips of my ears. I try and regain my earlier suave and charismatic composure, but words escape me. Be cool, Faye! Be cool! Wow. Wow. That sounds pretty profound. I'm just gonna shut up for a second whenever while well, reading through these voice lines. Okay, this one's not voiced? Okay. She raises a brow and smiles, amused, before proceeding to bat her eyelashes at me. You think so, huh? You know what? I'll move that back up in a second. I do! But after we visit and make amends, I really want to see Paris. Can we go? Please? Oh. 
A wants to visit the City of Love with Carmilla and is, like, really excited about it. <laughs> I think Car- I look Carmilla in her violacious eye- violacious eyes, waving up my clasped hands at her. She stares at me for a moment, a little surprised, but there is such warmth to her gaze that I feel myself blush even more profusely than before. Okay, I like this art piece. At long last, a soft chuckle escapes her lips. Oh, alright! The end. You've unlocked Carmilla's ending, until eternity ends. Oh, I didn't even- That never clicked what that was, apparently. And we're not gonna read through the credits again. Just know, pretty cool people here. I'm curious. They have... They're like, you've unlocked said ending. You've unlocked this different ending. But there's no place to, like, see all your endings? A little strange. But anyways, I'm gonna pause recording for just a second as I work through the uh, uh, through the exams one final time for this episode, and then I'll take you back in. I'll take us back in once we start up Damien's uh, ending. Nope. I'll see you in just a second. Okay. Making us in a little bit earlier than I was expecting to, I was just sort of clicking through the uh, through the exam, just like spam clicking, just trying to get through it as fast as I could. Just basically like, oh yeah, I can just do whatever I want here. Just click, 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 click. And I ended up clicking the wrong one in the zombie room. Like, I think, yeah, I used intimidate on the zombie. And then I insubstantiated through the door, instead of letting the zombie figure out the door for me. So it ended up leaving the zombie behind. And after that, there was no option to use, um, whatever it's called, the camouflage, camouflage. There was no option to use camouflage. So I ended up having to try and sneak past the Reaper was the only option. Slowly, trying my best to not make any noise, I sneak behind the columns and out of his sight. However, just as I almost reach the door, a voice as cold as snow falls upon my ears. Alt. Huh? <laughs> that wasn't bad, mortal. But to move to the other world, you have to pay for your passage. Hmm. <laughs> Aren't you the Reaper? I am. Um. Then why do you sound like the fairy man? Uh. Duh. Besides, I'm not dead, and I don't want to go to the other world. Uh. No matter. To get out of this room, you need to pay me 20 potions, no matter which color. Huh? <laughs> That's a ripoff! Do you want to pass your exams or not? Uh, what? But I don't have so many potions! In that case, you may not pass. No way! No potions, no passage, no room for negotiation. Your exams end here. Exams failed. Okay, I'll be more careful next time going through. Just wanted, figured I'd show you what what was going on. 
probably had like 19 potions, which is the worst thing. Anyways, this time, for real, uh, might see if I can't get to the... Might see if we can't get to the uh, Reaper with 20 potions this time, just to see how the story changes if we go that way. But if we don't, I'll, I'll see ya with Damien's story. Okay, we're back here again. We are at how many potions? Nine, 17, 21. So we have 21 potions right now. Right. We're gonna ask the zombie to open the door. Huh? Whoa. And then in this hmm. next room, we can just skip through that. Huh? Is that the Reaper? How on earth did Miss Magwitch get him here? Yada yada. We're at 21 potions. So, let's attempt to sneak past the Reaper. <clears throat> Slowly, trying my best to not make any noise, I sneak behind the columns and out of his sight. However, just as I almost reach the door, a voice as cold as snow falls upon my ears. Hold. Huh? <laughs> That wasn't bad, mortal. But to move to the other world, you have to pay for your passage. Hmm. Uh, aren't you the Reaper? I am. Um. Why do you sound like the fairy man? Uh, Besides, I'm not dead and I don't want to go to the other world. Uh, no matter. To get out of this room, you need to pay me 20 potions, no matter which color. Huh? <laughs> That's a ripoff. Do you want to pass your exams or not? <laughs> All right. Very hesitantly, I hand over a big batch of my hard-earned potions. Luckily, he lets me pass after that without a hitch. Really? Did all that for one more line. Okay. <laughs> oh well. Figured I'd just show off a different alternate route at the very end there. Okay. Here we go into the Damien story here. Exams passed. I am pleased to announce that once again, love is triumphant. The incomparable. The one and only. I didn't click on the wrong route, did I? All thanks to the weeks of dedicated hard work of yours truly, the brilliant, the one and only... Congratulations. Okay, thank you for showing up to <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I went to, like, mouse over Damien and accidentally ended up hitting the button. <laughs> hey, congratulations on passing. <laughs> My spellcasting was perfection. Did you have any doubt? Um... Uh, um... Well... Okay, don't answer that. But... But you know what this means, don't you? Yes. That you invited me to spend Halloween festivities with you, and we should get warm pumpkin cider pumpkin cider to celebrate? <sighs> you look a little cold. You, your, cheeks, your cheeks are pink. Um... Uh... In reality, it's, it's just that Damien cut my face so gently that I forgot how to think. Well... Well, maybe just a tiny bit. I never turned down an excuse to party. But cider turned into carnival games. And those turned into trying to pair up a couple of cute go ghouls with a little help from my handy-dandy partner in mischief. Who became significantly less handy after they lost their left hand in the punch bowl. It wasn't a total mood killer. The situation made for a good excuse to leave the two ghouls alone together. Then, the sudden realization hit me while I was stitching Damien's hand back to the wrist by lantern light. Hmm. You've been using your charms to distract me, haven't you? Huh? Uh, I, I don't know what you mean. What you um could possibly mean. That face says you do. Oh, you know, the fact that a certain somebody promised me they would be paying the doctor a visit if I passed my exams. Um... 
Um. And give their hand a light and comforting touch. Damien. Damien, please, you've been falling apart more and more often lately. But. Yes, but. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry. S someone just walked past my door and my floor shook. <laughs> I got distracted for a second. <laughs> Anyways. Before that. Before we go to see Mr. West tomorrow, there's something that I... Uh, I... It's okay, Damien. What is it? Um... This is going to sound so, so sh selfish in a million different ways, but... Uh, Faye... I'm... Just in case. J just in case anything happens. Well... I want you to know that I like you a lot. Um... Huh? Did I hear that right? My eyes widen at their sudden proclamation as my heart begins to try and beat its way right out of my chest. N no <laughs> No, I, I mean... Um... In, like, a friend way. Uh... And maybe... <laughs> and maybe also more than just that, and, um, oh gosh, I'm messing this up so bad. <laughs> oh, I love Damien. But Damien is too relatable. <laughs> oh, Damien, you're not. But... <laughs> but my point is even if I forget and there is nothing of me left just you're like the moon to me well I think whoever replaces me would still see your beauty even at a distance Damien hold it well don't think you can distract me with cheesy stuff again what have I always said I'm sorry. S sorry? I know that I'll always be Damien to you. What but, if? But, but what if you're not Faye to me? What if... Duh. <laughs> Just shut it down. <laughs> I grab Damien's lapels and kiss the concern right out of their rambling mouth. It's just like the it's just like the scene in shows where like there's one character just rambling like slowly losing it and then the other one's just like oh shut up <laughs> I think this will shut you up <laughs> they're not ready to handle my weight and we both end up falling once we land on the floor I feel their lips smile against mine our kiss only lasts for a while longer but I swear I could stay in that moment forever oh Oh. Right. And that's what I think of that. <laughs> now stop assuming the worst. We're in this together now. You don't have to keep trying to do everything all by yourself. You have me after all. Yes. I yes. Y you're you're right. Uh, thank you, Faye. <laughs> I stand up and go to pull Damien with their freshly repaired hand up with me. But Something feels different, but something seems different. Probably the fact that the one I'm trying to pull up isn't making any effort on their part. Hmm. Damien, are you feeling okay? I... Don't do this to me. They stare up at me, visibly shocked. Um... I don't think I need a new heart anymore. Huh? What? But you just... Damien cups both of their hands 
both of my hands in hands in theirs, placing them firmly firmly against their chest. The place where the ribcage meets their clothing is oddly warm. There's something else too. It's faint, but I can feel it. Um, Faye, it's it's my heart. It's beating. Yes. It sure is. Damien throws their arms around me in something between a tackle and a hug, and we nearly fall over again. I might have laughed, but I am too astound astounded by, well, everything. But how? You said it was a machine and that your maker couldn't create a living heart. Didn't you? This point on, I just listen and shut up for a second. <laughs> it was magic too. Huge smile. Love this artwork. <laughs> My maker was an alchemist and a magician both. He was brilliant, but... When trying to make a living thing, a human, I think he must have forgotten the most critical thing of all. And that was? Something only the best matchmaker in Dwimmermere High could show me how to find. <laughs> <laughs> they pause and look at me with their gleaming blue eyes as if there were only me and them in this whole entire world true love the end you've unlocked Damien's ending a heart in the making and again all these awesome people <laughs> And that is the end of the endings we have ready for us. This is not the final episode. If we had Zero's ending and Lawrence's ending ready to go right now, I would probably do them right now and just make this a pretty long episode. Just skip the exams again for both of them. But since those aren't ready and we still have all of Zero's spells to do the recording bits for, the reading bits for. We're going to do those in one final video. On my own time, I'm gonna run through the game again, collect the potions, or not really on my own time. I'm going to go through the game one more time, just skipping everything that's not a zero scene, or the final Lawrence scene to unlock their his ending? Or maybe you have to do all three of the main character's endings first before you can do Lawrence's ending, because he is a DLC character. I'm not sure. But anyways, there's going to be one more episode at least. Basically just skipping everything but Zero's spells and events. And then we're just going to skip right to through to Zero's ending. And then... If in that next run I'm able to unlock Lawrence's ending too, we'll do that with it. But for now, we have passed our Halloween exams! And what a wonderful Halloween it was with either of our two endings. A romantic trip through Europe with Carmilla? Or learning that true love's kiss and true love can make um, can make a malfunctioning Frankenstein creature really exist. <laughs> Aww, the art pieces in this game were cute too. I was really expecting kiss art uh, art pieces for the kissing scenes, but I'm fine with the uh, artwork we got, anyways. So, anyways, with that, this is where we're ending off. What is probably going to be the penultimate episode of Witches X Warlocks. I was kind of hoping to actually... I probably should have started these episodes like a few days earlier so that this was like yesterday's, yesterday's video. Rather than today so that we could actually end it on Halloween. But hey, we got to do the exams on Halloween at least. That's okay with me. 
But anyways, I want to wish you a happy Halloween, and thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have, and I hope to see you next time for what will likely be the last episode of this visual novel. So, without further ado, take care everyone.